Alright, good morning guys. We are up getting ready to deliver. Spent the night here in a scrapyard. Uh, blinking lights and stuff right over there. Them guys went all night long. Wasn't very noisy, but you know, it wasn't terrible. Just every time if I woke up you can see all the lights flashing, you thought the cops were here, but uh, we gotta go unload. I don't know if it's going to have me back straight in or circle around and come in the other door. It don't matter. But uh, we got to unload, go get reloaded, and then we're going up just north of Hannibal. I can't even think of the name of town right off the top of my head. Ain't that something? But that's what we're doing. We still got to put our we still got to put our boots on and our hey dudes boots. So and we got to get our coffee. Come on. Uh, got unloaded. Everything went smooth. You know, when you're friends with everybody, things happen a little nicer. That dad son. son. Coming over here is blinding. Thought, thought my windshield just had some bugs on it, but I guess it was. Got to had a film on it. I can't hardly see crap. I cleaned my side windows and mirrors. That didn't help me coming over here. But uh, we got a load. We're going to Cahoka, Missouri. It's up north of uh, Hannibal, a little ways. <laughs> but uh, a few trucks ahead of us. Naturally. <laughs> so, we sit and wait. <laughs> well, we just let a truck go ahead of us unknowing. Uh, when I checked in, they told me to wait for door five. Yeah. Five, six, seven. So he told me to wait for door five, and so that's what I was waiting for. A truck pulled out of seven, and another, and one truck kind of pulled up and trying to get my attention. And I'm like, door five. And he kind of throws his hands up and took off. I'm like, okay. And uh, so I went inside, checked. He's like, oh my bad. He said, uh, I guess I should have told you when it, you know, whenever they pull the rail car out or whatever. He said, so then the door opened up. And, He's like, I'm sorry about that. I'm like, well, it is what it is. I was waiting for door five. I was told to wait behind, you know, to go in after a certain truck and a five. So I didn't know for sure. It is. It's all right. It's all good. We'll, we'll get in there. All right. We're loaded, strapped, tarp, lock, cocked, and ready to rock. Yep, blue choo choo. <laughs> Every day. 
day at work and a half day off with pay. <laughs> Mississippi River. Never been across it. I don't think I've ever been across up here. system up here it looks like sun shining over there you know lock and day in keo cuck yes, it's a power plant there keo cuck plant yes yeah, it's hammering on there huh. i don't think i've ever been across here little lock system there for the barges those are pretty neat well I guess we're in Missouri now correction Prince in Iowa not Missouri <laughs> oh man how'd I miss that one I have no idea idea how I messed up on that calculation. Ah, the Des Moines River. Woo, Mississippi River over there. Now we're, we're coming into Missouri. Now we're in the right state. Hey, go. How'd I screw that up? Welcome to Missouri. Totally messed that up. I wonder if the place get something to eat up here. I don't have any groceries in the refrigerator. <laughs> Looks like I found my dinner for the night. Truck stop. I didn't realize this was so close. Uh, we got time, we can swing in here and get a bite to eat. Park for a few minutes, go in and get, get, get us a bite. Exit only. We don't want to go out the turd hole. We're going to turd hole. So we're going to come in this way. Find us a place to park for a few minutes. Long enough to go eat. And head over and park where we're going. Those of you who don't understand, uh, you know, I made a video about doing 1,800 miles in three days. Honestly, that's not an impressive feat for a truck driver. Especially for them old guys that, you know, turned a lot of miles because they were able to. Uh, those that aren't familiar, I have to run. This truck is a 2007. That puts me in the category of having to run an ELD or an E-Log. Uh, there's numerous uh, names for it, but it's an electronic logging device. Uh, pretty much everything is done on my phone. Uh, there is a box right here. You see it? You got a little green light. It runs a wire, it cord down to the ECM. So when the truck hits five mile an hour, that, that box knows everything with the truck. If I hit the engine diagnostics button, it, it goes through the system. I'm limited on what I can do as far as drive time. I got 11 hours, that's it. Uh, 14 hours to do it in. For those that are wondering, once you start your day on duty, your 14 hour clock continues to tick. Uh, so in that 14 hours, you, once you start it, you got the 14 hours to do your 11 hour, hours that you're allowed to drive. And somewhere in there, you got to take a 30 minute break, whether it's while you're loading or unloading. Uh, 
you're allowed to mix, you know, on-duty time and off-duty time or all straight on-duty or straight off-duty. Not getting into full detail, but long story short, for a lot of these new guys, 1,800 miles in three days is a big ordeal. Me, as not as much, but it is a lot more stressful on e-logs. So, I'm hoping that helps some of you guys understand a little bit. For you old timers that think you're just a wuss, well, I'll work circles around you. Guarantee you. And I don't need the help. So, the only reason I'm really even talking about this whole ordeal with the logbook, um, I know, I mean, I'll be the first to tell you, 1,800 miles in three days is not no big feat. Um, this ain't my first day trucking. I've done it back on paper. I know the tricks been through logbook school with somebody double my mile, miles that I did in three days and two. <laughs> the uh, general rule of thumb that I was always given was stay between when you're even on paper you're going to write down when you figure your time out at the end of the day off your miles you want to average as close to 60 mile an hour as possible. Match up your fuel stops. Match up your tolls. DOT inspections, got to match those too. Anything time stamped on your paperwork, not a bad idea to match it. So, uh, with that being said, we're allowed 11, like I said before, 11 hours to drive in four, within a 14 hour time period. Big deal? Not really, because say you average 60 mile an hour and you drive out to your full 11 hour period that's going to put you at 660 mile maximum limit on paper. Uh, so, with that being said, I did two days in a row of pretty much my maximum time. I was just shy of 650 miles those two days. The last day, I could have done an extra 100 miles. Uh, so, technically, I could have done a little over 1,900 miles legally. So... What's the big deal with 1,800 miles? It really ain't. Uh, but where I'm going at is some of these guys think that, you know, it's the old days. Wild West. You got log, you know, you got your log book on a dash and 200 or seat. Whatever. This ain't the wild, you know, the old days. Not no more. Hadn't been for a while. Uh, even when I started driving, there's more and more ways for them to track you down on your times versus, uh, you know, the old days. They got cameras everywhere. If you go through a toll booth anywhere, there's cameras. They'll track you. Even if you pay cash, they can, they really want to dig in. They can catch you. Been like that since I've been driving. Uh I mean, Kentucky, they got, they've had cameras set up since I started driving. Uh, they track you as soon as you come into the state. Um, I mean, there's just so many different ways. Is it worth it to run like that anymore? No. The pay's not there. Um, do I like being on e-logs? No, I'd rather be on paper. Uh, do I think the e-logs, do I think hours of service in general is a safety thing? No. No, not at all. And the reason I say that is because the way the hours are implemented 
it causes more rushing and stress than what they're good for. But my response is, what's the big deal? Why did my 1,800 miles offend somebody? <laughs> Why does me being a millennial have anything to do with it? <laughs> Trust me. When I say I'll work circles around most people, I'll work circles around most people. Not saying everybody, but most people, I will. But on that note, we're parked up for the night. We're where we're delivering at. We'll get up in the morning, probably about 5. No, I may get up a little earlier. I said these guys start getting here about 5, so I might get up start getting my tarps off and get ready to roll. Because we're going to go back down south, pick up another load of pipe, and go see those sweet little pieces of old iron sitting over in Kansas City again. Man, I like that W9. Or W9. What in the... That K100. Dad, gum, my brain is fried. I see some really nice W9s today. Really nice ones. I guess that's where my brain is. That old K100 and that old FLC. Guess I'll buy one of those things and crank out about 2,000 miles a day. <laughs> but y'all stay safe out there. God bless you. Don't get no DOT logbook violations. Come on. <laughs>